I have um, released uh, version 2.0 of Easy Ballistics and I'll quickly go over uh, over changes. There are actually two major changes. Um, the first of which is that there's now a new new air resistance model for the bullets and it's actually uh, the earth slash IGL model that's also used in in easy FM so to switch to to this new model you just go to your bullet blueprint and um, there should be a new parameter called atmosphere type just switch it to earth slash IGL and um, you no longer need to use the air density curve uh, it's dynamically calculated um, if you want uh, details of uh, various parameters, I have actually already covered this in, uh, in the EZFM tutorial. Uh, but really, for the most uh, purposes, you can actually just leave them at, at default. Um, so uh, that's the first change. And the second change is that um, uh, there used to be uh, actually uh, two ways to uh, set up uh, the way that the bullets uh, respond uh, upon impacting various materials. So I have uh, removed the, um, the old uh, material response, so now it's only determined by the material response map, and I'll quickly go over uh, how it's done again. So let's say um, you have, for example, those metal plates in here, and uh, by default they are rather thin, and uh, you can easily shoot through them. So uh, let's say you want to make uh, them bulletproof. Okay, so how to do that? Uh, so uh, material response map. All right, wait a second. I'll delete the old one. Uh, and start from scratch. So uh, the uh, the material response map uh, actually uses the physical material, which is uh, built in into into Unreal Engine, and to assign a physical material to an object, we create a new physical material in here, and select here physical material. And, okay, let's call it, for example, metal, okay? And now we go to our metal plates, let's select them, and uh, under collision you should have uh, fizz material override, and here you can actually select the material, so let's give them the metal, and uh, and next, uh, you will create the actual material response map. Um, it's done as a data asset, so it should be available on the miscellaneous. So here you can add a data asset, and it's called EB material response map. So let's create a new one. And let's call it material response, for example. And we go to our bullet and we assign the, the material response map to it. So um, you can actually have different material response maps for uh, different types of bullets. So say you have, uh, for example, an armor piercing bullet that will be able to go through the metal and so on. So anyway, um, so now that we have the, the material assigned to object and we have material response map, we can open this material response map and we can add elements to it. So I'll add the uh, metal to the response map and now we can open it. And here you can see various parameters that um, that affect how how the bullet responds upon impacting the the object. 
I've actually went over those already in previous tutorials, so I just uh, I'll just quickly make some simple change like say I reduce um, the penetration depth so uh, so the bullet won't be able to go through that that armor plate. So just set it to say 0.1 so it will be effectively the uh, the plate will act as if it was 10, 10 times harder. Okay, so let's see if it works. And now as you can see the armor plate now stops the bullets. And of course you can also change like probability of um, of uh, ricochet and so on and you can also if you want it to absolutely never be able to penetrate or never be able to ricochet you can just turn on these two 